terrible towel in his pocket, like legitimately on stage. You see that terrible towel right there. He is not messing around. This is a rivalry match, and let's get it going with the club championship, baby. Time for the AFC North. It's Browns taking on the Steelers, and Deliverance will take it to the 25-yard line. That's where he'll start. Both these guys have, if you wonder what it takes to get here, they've only won 85% or more of their games to get to this point. No big deal. And I'll tell you, Scott, Deliverance, he won his club championship running the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. For this event, he switched up his playbooks. He's going to be in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. You'll see that a lot today. And the Detroit Lions defense. And then our other guy, Joke, he's also going to be in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. I told you you'd see it a lot. He'll be in the New York Giants defense right now to open up the game. Want to give a big shout out to all those watching out there on our digital platform, especially my friends in Twitch. We'll be watching the chat throughout the day. But right now we're watching a first and ten. And don't tell me we've got dueling commentary here. Well, are we starting the event with dueling commentary? I hope not. Don't, don't say it. I, I love Charles and Brandon, but let us do our thingamajig. <laughs> first and ten from the 25. First down throw coming for Vic. Escaping the Rolling to the right, and there is Tyree Kill. He'll step out of bounds at the 40-yard line, and I gotta find my man Justin Chow. I gotta, I gotta get. Uh, I got a bone to pick. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with a dueling commentary here earlier. Oh my gosh, you see Deliverance, he's out here in this gun trips tight end, Scott. This is his go-to formation. And an interesting thing is Joke spent the least amount of cap on his defense going into his event. He really loaded up on offense, and you see Deliverance taking advantage of it right there, Scott. That was a huge scramble right there, but I thought that was interesting. That's a big part of salary cap. Remember, they're not playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Cleveland Browns. These are teams that these guys constructed themselves, and they had to stay under an 11.75 cap. And when Joe constructed his team, like I said, he put the least amount of it into defense compared to anybody else in the field. So they'll mark it at the 20. Promising opening drive here for Deliverance. And Vic gets loose again in the... Former Virginia Tech Hokie will slide down at the 15-yard line. Yeah, you're going to see Mike Vick all over this event, and why wouldn't you? He's a Madden legend. I mean, that dual threat that he has with that deep arm for the, that strong arm for the deep balls and that speed, Scott, he's a must. He's a go-to. I believe 24 people out of the 32 are running with some form of Mike Vick as, at their quarterback in this event. And that looks like maybe a neutral zone infraction. There by Joke, so that'll move him five yards forward. We're hearing from Termin Ops that we will have the dueling commentary hushed at the end of the quarter. <laughs> so first and goal from the 10. Already in this red zone. Look at that focus of delivering, Scott. You need to open up with a big drive, especially against a player of the caliber of Joke. And there it is! Ricky Williams will open up the club championship. With a touchdown. And it looks like my man Chow's going to step in, a guy that was pretty good at Madden back in the day himself. Hey, asking you shall receive. But, yeah, Chow, definitely a, a legend of the game. Transitioned over to the corporate world and still get the touchdown, Scott. Little inside zone to Ricky Williams doing his thing. And that's one thing that Deliverance told us. He said, I like to stay in that gun trips tight end because the inside zone is so efficient and such an effective run play. And as you can see, his opening strategy working just great for him on that opening drive. Hey, I, I can hear Chow still hitting the sticks over there. I think he's still got some... He's still got some moves. There's still some, there's still some energy in the fingers for Chow. Here's what I'll tell you about Chow. <laughs> The stick work there is going to be phenomenal. He's always got good stick work when he plays the game. The game plan is pitiful. <laughs> it's pitiful. He's on the center. I've seen it. It's nothing pretty. What, uh, what was you guys' record, official record? I mean, I know you guys have played thousands of games we, against each other. but I mean, we played once in the Madden Challenge Finals in Madden 08. It was the final eight of that tournament. And uh, he, he beat me on a last-second field goal. We, we don't need to talk about it too much. All right, so as the admin steps, see, see that stick work? Jeez. He's still got it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so Joke has won $88,000 for his Madden career thus far. Deliverance has 22, and both these guys looking to add to it here in our opening game. we got two games going on at once. So throughout the day, Rico is going to be bringing us up to date about what's going on, especially at halftime and postgame here in the NFC North. 
There we go, Scott. Back to the action, baby. And there's the extra point. What a promising opening drive. Four plays, 70 yards for deliverance. Uh, I'd say he came ready to play. And here's the thing now, Scott. If you're joking, you have to answer back. I told you, he spent the least amount of cap on his defense. He is all in on his offense for this club championship. And he sp put, put that in perspective. He spent 101 cap on the offensive abilities alone, Scott, when building this team. He said the biggest problem he had in the Ultimate League was his offense. And he said he wasn't going to let that be the case this year, so he spent super heavy on that offense. And he's the only person that has wide receivers with two abilities on him. His receivers have the elite route ability chemistry and the playmaker chemistry on him, which is why he has spent so much cap on that offense. Quote of the day here in chat, Contra Yo, and the name works here. He says, Chow's putting in the up, up, down, down, left, right, A, B, select, start, going for those extra. <laughs> Konami. Ko and you can tell that Contra <laughs> played with a friend because if you don't hit, you got to hit select to go to two players. So that at least tells me he wasn't alone in his Contra battles back in the day. So Jokes got to answer here. This is his opening drive of the ball game after giving up a touchdown. I've been really interested to see this offense. Scott Joke has been talking to me about it all week. He says this is the best he's ever felt on that side of the ball. I'll just take a delay. Yeah, just take a delay again. Bunch to the right. You heard them. They're going to take a delay. Yeah, a little sportsmanship here off the start. So Joke, maybe one of the biggest digs on him has been his lack of offense, especially in Madden 18. But a whole new year. I know the classic didn't turn out the way he wanted to in Vegas, ended up finishing 33rd. Yep. Not able to advance to where he wanted to be there, but he's had this game on his mind for a long time, ever since last year. Yeah, absolutely, Scott. And he's a guy that he's had a belt on his mind for a long time. He has been going hard on this for the last three years. He's had a ton of success. Like you said, he's made over $88,000 from to MCS tournament winnings alone. And he is it's, the money is nice, but the thing he wants more than any of it is that belt to really prove that he is a champion on that level. And he will stop at nothing until he finally makes it there. Well, he came up short in the Madden 18 Classic. Lost the skimbo there. And then he finished third in men's 17 at the championship. So he knows what it takes to get there. Here's an inside zone that he takes the outside with Marcus Allen. And he's already out to the 42-yard line. And you see him run the ball right there, Scott, but don't anticipate that to happen a lot this game. He spent so much on those wide receivers. He has Randy Moss, he has Tyreek Hill, and he has a Julio Jones out there in that bunch. So he is looking to definitely air the ball out at some point here. Second and seven. Vic looking, has time. And he'll playmaker to the sideline. He'll haul it in at the 38. Yep, and that's why you want those playmakers on your offense, Scott. When the play begins to break down, you're able to direct the receiver into open space and make a play, and that's exactly what he did right there. Just, he has Tyreek Hill and Randy Moss. They both have that playmaker and elite route chemistry, and the Julio Jones doesn't have playmaker, but he has that deep route chemistry. Vic, once again, only going to bring three. And he'll try to pick up a yard or two at the 36. So already three minutes gone by. I want to welcome you guys into San Francisco, California. We're here at the EA headquarters, and this is our opening game of the entire club championship. Three plays. Round of three 32. Tyreek Hill's out the game. Oh, no. Joke not happy. Joke not plays. happy about the fatigue right now of Tyreek Hill. He says he ran three plays and Hill's out the game. The problem is within three of those plays, one of them he bought a lot of time, had the receivers running around for long periods of time. And if you're deliverance, that's one of the benefits of making him extend the play is you can wear out those receivers as he gets the big sack. That'll push him back to the 46-yard line. Here comes a huge third and 18, and we've seen this. At a joke, he can. He's gotten better about it. He's got so much talent, but man, he can get tilted very quickly. You're not lying, Scott. It's very nerve-wracking to see him kind of getting in his own head because that was his Achilles heel where he had the most problems before. And like you said, he worked on it. He was so great at it, but early on, we already see him getting frustrated. A drag there to Moss, so that'll bring it to the 42. Fourth and 14, he's sort of in no man's land here. He's going to go. 
He's absolutely going to go for this, Scott. And, and this is where having those route chemistries helps. He's going to be able to hot route his receivers to get some of those deep crossing routes, corners, or post routes that will be able to get the receiver to the first down marker. The question is, is he going to be able to execute? And his deliverance going to dial in the blitz. Clean pocket once again here on fourth down. And he'll pick up the first down at the 24. Looked like he had the corner route, Scott. Goes with the deep dig instead. But you know what? Even though it was in traffic, in order to put those two abilities on your receivers, they need to at least be 97 overall. So he's messing around with 96, 97, 98 overall type wide receivers, and they're going to be able to make plays if you give them a chance to. That was huge, though, for him, Scott. That was so big. Such a momentum play. He needs to be able to finish here. 30 seconds to go in the quarter, and there is Moss with a quick spin to the 17. He's been perfect, five or five for Vic for 62 yards. And you're gonna see a lot of spinning after the catch. It's a thing that these players do to get themselves upfield, make defenders miss. The risk with that is if you get hit right as you're exiting that spin animation, you have a good chance to fumble. So that's something we're gonna have to pay attention to. These guys, you can spin with the receivers, but you're gonna have to protect them. All right, so that's the end of one. Seven to nothing between Joke and Deliverance. Joke here on a drive, but both with nice first quarter offensive performances. The question is, can Deliverance hold here down in the red zone? And look how quick this game has gone, Scott. Joke hasn't even finished his first possession, and we're about to start this second quarter right now. So that's why when you see him going for it on fourth and 14 and things of that nature, you have to in John Madden football because the game is so short. Every possession is so critical. Yeah, I don't like the commercial after the first quarter, but I do like the breather just to give the opportunity to reset. And here comes a second and three. From the 17. Gotta watch that post route over the middle of the hitch underneath on a playmaker. Vic able to escape, and he will pick up the first down. And it looks like it's gonna be first, might as well call it first and goal from the 10. Well, I mean, think about how much you have to guard right there. You got a deep post coming over the middle, getting behind those hook zones. You have a hit, hitch route underneath that's distracting the hook zones, and then, you got to worry about Michael Vick, who's got 94, whatever it is, speed, just running around, making your lineman look silly. Good drive so far by Joe. Goes to Randy Moss, tries to spin. We'll get to the four. And hey, there's no doubt about it. Deliverance right now is bend, don't break. He hasn't brought one single pressure yet. Yep, just like, and I, I kind of like that because, like you said, it extends the play. It might wear Joe's receivers out, but this is where you need to get stingy if you're Deliverance. Second and four, technically could still pick up a first down. And Vic will get Vic loose. Is, and he'll die in the end zone. Touchdown, Michael Vic. Look at that, Cole Chain. It was James Van Der Beek, Varsity Blue style life on the line. Let me get the scramble going. Tie up the ball game, and what a way to kick off the club championship. Two prolific drives by two prolific players. It's game day, and we got a ball game. Boy, the guys in the players' lounge. The the rest of the whole crew, there's 28 of them back there just waiting for an opportunity to play. And we got a tie ball game here, 7-7. Seven to seven. I'm a little bit jelly. I, I love, like, <laughs> casting the games up here with you. We have a good time, but I bet you're having some fun back there watching these games, huh? Here it is again, RG. Look at the Vikings and watch the band beak. Agassa, life on the line. I like it. You got to be careful, though. You can fumble if you get touched in that type of situation. Fortunately for Joke. No fumble and got a touchdown instead. Well, we've had two drives. We got two scores. Deliverance will go back to work. And it's the Michael Vick experience right now. Second and six. And one of the things that I want to call out about Deliverance offense, Scott, is he has the elite route cam on his running back, Ricky Williams. Woo. And what that's going to let him do is create those flat slash table routes out of any play and check down to Ricky very often. He said to look out for that throughout the game. No, not a lot of people do it. And there it was right there. Didn't throw it early, let it develop. Ricky settled in on the sideline. But he's the only person in the entire tournament that I saw do that, Coltrane, put the elite route cam on the running back. 
Able to pick up the first down right there. That was really close to being beyond the line of scrimmage when Vic let it go. But a new set of downs. He'll head it off to Ricky Williams. And the former Longhorn will go nowhere. And we talked about Joe tanking his defense. You, you know what I mean, Scott? He didn't spend a lot. And the reason he did that is he is a good defensive player. If you look at the 128 players that made the final fours of all the club championships, Joe had the number six run D and the number one pass defense. So he is a good defensive player, but he does he's light on the personnel on that side of the ball as he gets a big, big sack. And pushes it back to third and 12. 2.45 to go in the half. This one is flying by already here in the AFC North. It's a big play, Cole. Got trips to the left. He'll move Ricky Williams over there, anticipating the pressure. Yeah, motions Ricky to that nickelback blitz side. Ricky picked them up. And wide open, but can't hang on. And look at that hit from the secondary and that is not by accident Scott joke has no cornerbacks on his team he has all safeties everybody in his secondary has 85 plus hit power they're all hitters and that's the way he wants to play defense exactly what happened right there huge play right here Cole for down he's going for it here at the 39 in his own territory oh man you gotta be careful deliverance this is big Vic and here comes the heat Let's go! and he'll throw it Interception! Got room. Get up and he might Let's take go. this to the house. Oh, he said get up 10 of them. touchdown, Joe! And look at Echo Fox joke. We saw at the top of the show him throwing pick six after pick six to deliverance in last year's club championship. He says, I want a little pick six of my own. Goes and gets it, and now Deliverance with his back against the ropes. Because remember, Joke will be getting the ball to start the second half and has the 7 nothing lead. And he'll kick it out of the end zone. What an answer there by Joke. On a big fourth down, able to get a pick six. Look at it again, RG. And I told you, Joke has that number one ranked pass defense on the ladder, Scott. Deliverance pass offense was ranked 30th, so not the greatest pass offense uh, statistically hey. from Deliverance. Look at the goons back there. Yeah, some of the guys from the AFC, you saw Joe Rice and Ice and Allen and all the, yo the young gunners. A bunch of young gunners right there, Scott. And there is Ricky okay. Williams okay. to the 27. Well, they're watching intently. So much talent. The amount of up-and-coming talent between these 16 years olds, these 17 year olds that just a few years ago weren't even eligible to compete. Let's go! Boy, if they got on this, uh, gotten the opportunity and made the best of it. Of course, here at the half, we'll bring you up with what's going on in our game between the Bengals and the Ravens. Rico's gonna be hanging out all four days, making sure we don't miss anything. Second and eight. Vic Ooh. can't get, oh wow, almost got out of there. Somehow able to get two yards. This is impressive, Joke being able to play some stingy defense, even though he's lacking in that personnel department. This nickel 335 normal, just doing wonders for him out in this New York Giants defensive playbook. That's why a lot of people switch to this Giants playbook, Scott, is they like this nickel 335 defense that Joke's running. Vic has time and has a man. Patrick, oh! Severely hit in the hands. As you hear, Joke, that was bad. It's a tough break right there. Deliverance going to need to regain himself, though, here. He had some trouble with that last there. We saw him get, get into his feelings a little bit, and he could throw himself out of his game, but looking like he's not letting that happen this time around. He's got some experience under his belt now. He's going to have to play some defense, though. With these guys from the East Coast, Joke, 25 years old. We mentioned he's from West New York. I can't, can't even say it. West New York, New Jersey. West New York, New Jersey. Completely made up. That, that sounds like something you. It when doesn't you make sound a fake real. ID or something. You put that down. We've said it before, and I've went back and read the chat, and they said that's not a real place. <laughs> I, I can assure you, it's a real place. Look it up. Of course, Deliverance, 27 years old, from Naples, Florida. Vic will hand it off to Marcus Allen. Second and nine here. 
And Joke's not going to be able to run the ball very efficiently. He didn't spend a ton on his halfback. Where he is going to make his money is in this gun bunch, extending the play and airing it out to these 97 overall receivers. It's a huge last Hit 64 route. seconds, and there's the drag to Tyreek Hill. Get on your horse. It, it's Tyreek Hill like me running out there. Here's the thing, Scott. It's just such a unique style of Madden you have to play against. Sure, everybody sees Gun Bunch, but have you seen Gun Bunch when the receivers have Playmaker and the Elite Route Cam on them with another deep route cam out there? He's, you think it's the same look, but it's something completely different than what Deliverance is used to playing. Joke running a very unique scheme. Both players still with two timeouts. Good defense. Oh! Has a man in the middle of the field. There's Randy Moss down to the red zone. And the longer you let Joke extend these plays, he's that playmaker is going to come into play and allow those receivers to get to that sweet spot right when you think you got him locked up. There goes Moss adjusting his route, getting into that tender area of the field. 20 seconds to go in the half. Still with two timeouts. Boy, taking a lot of time here, RG. Yeah, Vic. You're right. It's ticking, Scott. He's letting and it rip. the corner. No. Couldn't get the second foot down for Julio. No, you're right, Scott. I don't know about that clock management right there. And at this point, if you joke, you need to be careful with any type of pass right here because the most important thing is getting this field goal, make it a two-possession ball game. And look at that. I think he's going to come out in the nail formation. Wow. He's going to nail it. That's smart. That is smart football right there if you're Echo Fox joke. And that's why Echo Fox pays him the big bucks. He's going to have an opportunity here to make it a 10-point lead at the half. And here comes Deliverance. And Mike Tomlin will take a timeout here for the Steelers. All 32 teams represented here at the club championship. The winner only wins 100 grand. Only. No big deal. 700,000 prize pool. The top eight all win over 20 grand. That's redonkulous. It's up. And it is good. And that's how the half will come to a close. My bro, my bro. 17 to 7. Deliverance started things off with an opening touchdown. And then some unanswered points by Joke, including the pick six. And for me, that pick six is really what changed everything. And right now, RG, Joke is rolling. Yeah, and I was excited to see him run this elite. I keep talking about the playmaker and the elite route specialist chemistries, but those are something that a lot of people don't run. I was very excited to see it. See some highlights right here. Deliverance looked good on the opening drive. A little Vic running, a little Ricky Williams. And at that point, I was like, oh my, Deliverance is here to play. Man, look at that look he gives him. And then here comes Joke, though, Scott, with that high, high-powered offense. I mean, he spent so much cap. Nobody spent more cap on their wide receiver core than Echo Fox Joke. Yeah, he was telling us that in the lobby of the hotel. He's like, I'm bringing it. He's like, I'm tired of hearing about my bad offense. I'm bringing it. But then he brings a little defense here. And this is what I was talking about. This really flipped the script there in the first half. Yeah, that was huge. Being able to get a touchdown on defense, follow up by a stop, get the field goal, make it two possessions. He is in complete control. But there's plenty of John Madden football left to play here. And you know that man, Deliverance, is going to fight for his Pittsburgh Steelers. We're here in the AFC North. We got a long way to go. This is the first set of games today. Uh, 12 in total. We got a little serious smoke. Clef coming up a little bit later, but right now Deliverance, remember, he got the ball first, so Joe kicks the field goal at the end of the half. He's going to get it to start the half. It's going to be mental pretzel time right now for Deliverance. But keep in mind, though, Joke does not have an offense that's built to kill the clock, to run the ball, and to keep the ball out of Deliverance's hands. He has a pass-heavy offense, so it's going to be harder for him to milk this game away, and hopefully Deliverance can take advantage of that and give himself some chances. Well, let's figure out what's going on on the other side of the AFC North. Rico is back there in the Players' Lounge. Hey, thanks, guys. As you guys can see, I'm here in the Players' Lounge with everybody. We've been rocking and rolling both of those games. The action has been nonstop over there. Let's take a look at some of these first-half highlights. Or we can look at Skimbo. We have Crush and the Bengals against I Love God and the Ravens. And it all starts off with Crush. He's looking to make his way downtown, breaks the tackle, and he is moving towards that end zone. Doesn't get in there, but we know why he has that man. 
breaks through the middle, gets on the board 7-0. But offense sells tickets, defense wins championships. After that pick, gets a stop, puts three on the board. But I love God goes to Deion Sanders. And he's back in that game. But once again, as you can see, he's a little uncomfortable there. But don't worry, as long as he's able to move the ball, <laughs> he's able to do something. But once again, Crush locked in, gets that pick. I love God's in a little bit of trouble, but he's been able to keep it close. Crush has the lead going into the half. One more half like this, guys, must see action. Yeah, hell, three point ball game there on the other side of the NFC North. Both these guys trying to bring it. <laughs> I'm telling you, whoever wins that game might have their hands full with 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 joke if he can keep it going. Oh, that, that's a good game on the other end. One of the things I thought most interesting was Crush, Joe Rice, Kiv, and Mo all used the same exact roster for this event. We told you everyone's in charge of building their own teams. These guys all work together, build the same exact team. So it'll be interesting to see how those four do in this event with their very similar play styles. By the way, was Skimbo in the Players' Lounge? That guy's a broadcaster now. Yeah, that, that guy, is, that there, guy is washed doing, up. Man? He's Slacking. only the number one player in the world right now. But, yeah, we'll see him a, a little bit later on. So, so second half about to start, and we talked about it. Joke is going to get the ball to start the half after kicking a field goal there at the end of the half. And maybe we, we were saying, hey, you got to get going if you want to get a touchdown here. But with him getting the ball, I think he was he was okay with three. Yep, absolutely okay with three to make it two possessions. And if you're a joke on this possession, I think the most important thing is don't worry about the clock. It's a, it's beginning of the second half. You need to focus on just going and getting a touchdown. You can swag around in the back of the end zone a little bit like that, too. I, I kind of like that right there. <laughs> a little swaggy move. But if, I, if I'm joke right here, I'm not worried about the clock or any of that stuff. I'm worried about going down there and getting myself seven. I'm going to put try to put together the most prolific offensive drive I can. Really just get deliverance overwhelmed if he can get a touchdown right here. So 10-point ball game. We mentioned Joke will start with the first here at the 25. Representing those Cleveland Browns. Vic steps, throws, and there's Julio out of the 45. We should clip that video and upload it to YouTube and show people, if you want to learn how to climb up in the pocket and make a strong read over the middle, I mean, that was textbook right there by Echo Fox joke. He's 9 of 10 in the passing game. And remember, his only incompletion was one where Julio couldn't get two feet down in the corner of the end zone. Almost for a touchdown. That was the in the half, so he's been nearly perfect. There's Hill motion out on the left side, and Marcus Allen will get to the 49. Mixes in a little bit, run to Allen, trying to keep deliverance honest, but I think everybody knows that Joke's here to air this ball out. So that'll bring up a second and six at the 49, just shy of midfield, right there on the club championship logo. Deliverance doing a good job disguising his coverage. As you see right there, he made his defense look like a cover two type zone, but it was really a cover oh three. My. Joke about doesn't being see open. It. Joke doesn't care. <laughs> Down at the 26-yard line. I haven't seen someone that open in a long, long time. I mean, his offense is as advertised. He said it, Scott. This is the best I've ever felt on that side of the ball. And so far, so good. Up by 10, looking to make it more. You see Deliverance's coverage shell, Scott. You see how there's two safeties up top, kind of making it look like a cover four, cover two look. But watch, the safety jumps down, and it's really a cover You got a block, though. Oh! Mm, had the edge. Couldn't hold it there on the outside. But anytime she can get eight yards on first down, you'll take it every time. Joke just not spending a lot on his running back. It's, a, I believe, an 85 overall, Marcus Allen. So. He can get him in the open field, but he's not going to be as prolific as some of these ball carriers like Ricky Williams. 17 to 7. Opening set of games. Here in the Madden 19 Club Championship. We're here in San Francisco. My first time, and I think it's been a long time since Madden has been here on this campus. What was Rico saying back in the like a little challenge way back in the day? And I think that was like a EA only challenge. 
Yeah, yeah. They, they, they used to do the Madden Challenge. They had them set up all the kiosk here so the, the people here at EA could uh, have their own little Madden Challenge back in the day. Man, that was way back in the day. Filmed some Madden Nation here back in the day. A lot of history in this building. So the magic pretty, happens. Pretty much the new home of John Madden football. Third and two. Allen's going to get the first oh, down. Oh, he's got more. Oh, what a block. Let's go. Come on, man. Stepped out at the one-yard line. I've learned my lesson. You don't call that touchdown too early. They, they're probably going to mark this at the half. Just the bipolar reaction. Let's go, man. Oh, come <laughs> on. Yeah. He's, Madden will do that to you. But if you're a joke, you, you, you got to be okay with it as long as you, you figure you got a one-yard play and you get to kill some clock right here. It's not a bad deal for him. And Sharp will just power his way into the end zone. They're at the fullback position. And oh my, I'm not saying it's time to get the floaties out yet, but the water's rising. Oh man, I mean, and, and this is what happens. You run into somebody like Joke, though Deliverance obviously can play the game at a very high level. He's a world-class player. Joke. Joke is a guy that has been doing this full time for the last two years. He has a sponsorship that allows him to strictly focus on Madden and make runs into these things consistently. Where you got a guy like Deliverance, he has full time job as a psych psychologist and things like that. It's going to be hard for you to compete with a guy as devoted as Echo Fox Joke. 24 unanswered by Joke. Deliverance has got to get going somehow. They got out of there. Joey Bosa with the Olay. I'm shocked. You, you know what's crazy to me, Scott, is Deliverance spent the most cap out of any player on his offensive line. Joke with not a great defensive line, still just able to get to Vic time and time again. There it is again. Come on your head. You got to wonder, is Joke on that aggressive pass rush? You don't see Deliverance fake snapping very often. Might need to start incorporating that. Third and 18 now. Let's see if he fake snaps here, Scott. There it was. All right, there he is. Just getting some block sheds here. That's what it's all about. But has a man. And that's out at the 44-yard line. So down but not out. And he should be able to get players open. Remember, Joke doesn't have a lot of speed in that secondary. They're all big hitter type safety players. And that's going to force him to play a lot of cover two type defense regardless. So if you're deliverance, you need to try to take advantage of that. Here on first down, we'll pick up a yard or two. Part of the problem, uh, Scott, for Deliverance is a big part of his game plan is to check down to the running back, throw the drag route. I, I believe nobody threw more drag or slant routes than he, he did when he won his club uh, it, over there in Pittsburgh. But when you're down this many points, it's hard. Oh, pick it. The game's over, man. Shit's in a bag. That'll bring up a third and eight. I've seen low, you know, low throws, but there's no way that Kittle could have hauled that in. Got to have a touchdown right here. Field goal minimum. Remember, too, Scott, this game, winner of this game gets an additional $2,500. So that will put you at seven and a half grand for this event. But that also puts you into a game where the next game you play will be to make $20,000. This is a big game to get yourself in a position to win a lot of money. Obviously, a lot of implications at home. Family, friends, hometowns are watching. The NFL clubs are paying close attention. But so far, so good for Echo Fox Joke. Nice scramble there down to the 42. So first and 10 with 50 seconds to go in the third. This drive has taken a while. You see the play art right there. We're gonna have a post route coming by B. Goes the opposite side. And for our casual US viewers, Scott, let me say that. When you see the play art up on the screen, now you can see Joke pulling up that play art on all the routes. Deliverant. I mean, when you see Deliverance doing that, Joe can't see that. You're seeing the game right now from Deliverance's point of view. Yeah, although they're sitting next to each other like you would on a couch. They're not looking at the same screen. They each have their own monitor. And there is Ricky Williams at the 22. And now here's the hurry up. Try to get one more play in. 
before the end of the third. Second and one. This is what you need to do if you're delivering. Get some tempo, keep moving the ball, one score at a time. And he'll hand it off again, and Ricky will take the first down room. a little bit more to the 11-yard line, and that's the end of the third. 24 to 7. It has been all joke. I mean, 24 unanswered. Remember, Deliverance started the game with a four-play drive, but Joke has made some adjustments, and right now, he's in the driver's seat. Yeah, and you saw it right there, Deliverance offensive line finally doing some work as they plowed some room for Ricky Williams to get busy. But if you're Deliverance, you gotta be careful how much you're running this ball. You need to score points in a hurry. Currently down three possessions. This is going to be a huge, huge red zone uh, opportunity for him. For a limited time, you can get the Madden NFL Ultimate Super Bowl Edition. Load up your Mutt roster with one of five Super Bowl elite players. Dick Buckets, yeah, I'll take him. Walter Payton, yeah, he's my favorite. Del Green, he's a beast. Keyshawn Johnson, Javon Kurtz, plus additional elite active Super Bowl players in gold team fantasy packs. Can I get an MDD in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> they do good. They do phenomenal work, those guys, huh? Gibbs, Falls, Kralo, Goo, all the guys holding it back at home base. All right, start of the fourth quarter. I might have to pick up that Walter Payton. I'll be honest with you. Here's the thing, too. If you're watching this and this is something you want to get involved in, you go to MaddenChampionship.com. There's still the Madden Challenge, last chance qualifiers. So if you're out there and you think you got some skills, it's not too late. Or if you're thinking you might want to pick up the sticks and get involved with it, you still got some opportunity. Yeah, draft champ. Oh. oh, you got to be careful, Vikings. Yeah, draft champions is the, well, Mutt Draft is the next move that's coming up. There's there's no easier way to step into the world of ultimate team than when you talk about DC. It's a very good point, Scott. Good good funnel to get you into Mutt if you never dabbled into that yet. Second and five. Oh, what a hit. Hit. oh my. Boy, was that Sean Taylor that came flying through there? It looked like it. And here's the thing, Scott, if Deliverance doesn't score right here, he's really going to have to think about settling for the field goal to make it a two-possession ball game. So this is a huge play for him. Third and eight. Thickens nowhere to go. Oh, he threw the book. That's it. <laughs> they hear him talking back and forth about forcing it in there. And that'll bring it all the way out to the 20. And now it's milk and cookies time here for, for Joke. Yeah, if you're Joke, at, at this point, you need to find a way to just run this ball, not show off as much as your stuff, because you know everybody's back there. They're going to be scouting. Your game's on stream. So if you're Joke, it's time to go into the dummy offense and just start milking this clock. And you see that's what he does right now in that single back twin wide receiver. So 17-point game. Rico's going to be bringing us up to date what's going on in that other game. It's, I don't know what level you would call it, but it's, it's getting close to hell level over there. 24 to 7 in this game right here. And, and for Joke, it's an important part of his story and his journey. Is can he keep up some dominance? Get it out of the AFC North. And then it gets really difficult. <laughs> no. We talk about the amount of games, it's single elimination. The single, amount of games you yes, got to win in uh, a row is almost impossible. Against elite level competition. I mean, I can't win eight games in a row just searching online on the, the regular ladder. You know what I mean? Never mind throwing 32 of the best competitors in the world that I got to dabble with. Forget about it. So third and 11. There's Marcus Allen. Get to the 23, and Deliverance will use his second timeout, just one remaining. Joke going to punt this rock. I'll, I'll tell you, Scott, I did get to talk with, with these guys for quite a bit of time before this event, and one of the things I needed to make sure I asked them was what their favorite meal was. Got to know what your favorite meal is. <laughs> Deliverance, he gave me bo boneless buffalo chicken or pizza. He says it has to be boneless, though. I know that's a debate. 
that can go on forever. I, I'm not sure that is a debate. It, it is it a debate. It comes to you and I, but. Yeah, but there are people out there that are big on the boneless buffalo you get more, chicken. You get more meat. I'll, I, I'll, I'll at least go with that. Is it, sometimes it's but more accessible. But I need that smoky flavor. It's more accessible sometimes. It's another big thing. And then Joke, he says his favorite meal was the chicken palm. That's a classic New York meal for sure. Vic, There's throwing across right his there. body. There's Julio. And right now, Deliverance needs a mad miracle. And, and that Julio Jones does have the playmaker chem for Deliverance. And what that playmaker chem does, you keep hearing me talk about it. If, you, if you're new to Madden and you're not sure, you, you can use the right stick to aim which way you want the closest receiver to you to redirect his route. N nice knockout right there. And when you use have the playmaker ability, the responsiveness uh, of that command is going to be way better than it normally is. It's going to be instant and exact where you want the receiver to go, where in other cases there may be a delay. They might not go exactly where you direct them. Playmaker gives you that level of control, and a lot of people like to invest in that because a lot of people like to run these zone defenses that leave that air deep uh, middle of the field open. Playmaker's a great place to get And there's a set. fumble. Picked up by Joke. Except for that opening drive by Deliverance. Joke has been perfect. Oh, he's been phenomenal. He has been phenomenal. By the way, Che Money says in the Twitch chat, boneless chicken, that's glorified chicken nuggets. That's funny. Who said that? Che Money. Che Money up in the chat. You know what? If you're in the chat, give me a one for boneless. Give me a two for bone in. All right. I'm gonna have I need to track a, I, that. And I go back and read these things. Settle the debate for me. One for boneless, two for bone in. A lot of twos in the chat. There's a lot of ones in there, too. I'm telling you, it's a real debate. Second and one. Joke will toss it to the outside, and Marcus Allen almost got away he's got 10 carries for 50 yards so joke doing a nice job toting the rock yeah, doing a good job representing those cleveland browns you asked them you know um why did, why go with the browns he said he, he was a former huge lebron fan he didn't have an nfl team he, he wanted to get on them before they started getting good won the club last year and he feels he needs to continue to represent them and then he also says he's a big baker mayfield fan he says he loves the way baker's looking and he looks forward to continue to try to represent that organization going forward and watching them as they've obviously turned things around in that organization some starting to see more twos in the chat and it is the two, <laughs> <laughs> it is the two minute warning by the way something new that we're adding this year uh, the winner of each game is actually going to join us up here at the desk to go over some highlights, talk about their journey. So I like that. Right now, it looks like it's going to be Echo Fox Joke. Join us here at the desk in the post game. And, and Joke told me to make sure. He says, if I have success, G, you need to call out my EMB brother, the roster guru, Safa Jones himself, who lost in the finals of the Atlanta tournament. They call him the lion. To be here. They call him. <laughs> you call him the lion. <laughs> but he said Safa was a roster guru and was a lot of help in helping Joke develop this roster despite not being in the tournament. So he said, gee, please make sure you shout him out. Safa, we love you, brother. Hope you're doing all right. And Joke said, also give a, a shout out to my brother back home in New Jersey, Roneal. Well, Safa Jones is probably chilling at home right now, enjoying the Super Bowl festivities there in Atlanta. Yep. Remember, he made it to the Final Four last year before end up losing to the overall champion goes there on the NFC championship side. Yeah, and that was cool to see. You got guys like Deliverance and Safa last year, both of them relatively unknown names. And in this tournament alone, they were able to make deep runs into the semifinals and really boast their status amongst the Madden community. And now both of those guys are household names if you keep up with competitive Madden. I love that this event can do that for these young players. And he will bend the knee, and that's a good thing. You see the embrace there, the love, the camaraderie between these guys, especially play at a high level. But it was an opening drive for deliverance, and it looked like he was going to be really have his game face on early, going up 7 nothing. but then it was all joke. He did it offensively. He did it defensively. And he's going to be making his way over here. I don't. I mean, I know that's an admin, but it looked like he was signing an autograph there at one point. <laughs> I know that's an admin stepping in, but it looked like he was uh, putting the old John Hancock of, of joke 
as he makes his way over to the desk. But 24 to 7, what can you say about that? It's just, it's just all joke. Yeah, I mean, the offense was as advertised, Scott. He told me that it was going to be the best he's ever looked on offense, and Joke's never really been one to lie to me, and I think that was the best he's ever looked on offense. It's going to be exciting to see him move on throughout the rest of this event. Well, you mentioned him going in on the defensive side of the ball, not building up the cap, and more importantly, saying, hey, I'm going to put all my cap on the offensive side of the ball. I'm tired of hearing guys say, I, I can't move the football, and – when it came down to it, he used his user, and he's joined us right here at the desk. And, uh, well, revenge has got to be pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I was, I was looking forward to that since Vegas. That's all I was preparing for, just him. Now we got a whole day to prepare for the winner of the Crush. I love God. I think Crush is winning this one by 15. So Spoilers. today. Oh, I, I didn't know. Sorry about Tell, that. <laughs> come on, Joe. You're going to can the whole operation. I, I, I wasn't warned. I wasn't warned. <laughs> so you're saying Vader was Luke Skywalker's dad. Is, 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 is that what you're saying right now? I guess. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, that was phenomenal joke. It was as advertised. Did, did you feel as good as you expected up there? Is that what we could expect for the rest of the, this event? Yeah, I think I'm spending the most cap on offense you are? and on chemistries. I'm spending 101 cap on chemistries. So I'm going all out on offense. Last year, I, I had a lead in the game. I threw a bunch of picks. So this year, I'm just focusing on scoring. I, I tanked almost every player on defense. Because I feel like the defensive players are made by the player, not by the like the players in the game. Is the guys who are, are using the players. So I think I'm le probably using the least cap on defense and the most on offense, and you, it paid off that game. You are. You you, you had. Did you, were you aware that you have the least amount of cap spent on defense in this entire tournament? Well, I, I figured I'm, I'm using 297 overall receiver, so I get to use double cams. Uh, I got a 99 speed and a 97 speed playmaker weighted lead route specialist. So it's it's a lot to guard, especially in New England when you can still run the ball and you can odd vote a trip side end. Yep. And I, I came here knowing nobody was really going to expect that because I think I'm also the only one doing it in the tournament. So it's going to be hard for people to guard. And if I feel like if I can score, I feel like I can win this tournament. Wait, let me write that down. Tri trips offense. <laughs> no, let's, let's take a look at some of these highlights presented by Snickers. The most satisfying highlights thus far. We know for a joke, that's certainly the case here. And boy, that was a big playmaker to start it after the opening drive. Now, now, Joe, during this, too, you mentioned that Tyreek Hill got tired for you. Is that something that you're going to be concerned about moving forward if they let the plays develop for too long? And you, I know you got these playmakers. Uh, is, is that a concern at all, that if the plays develop too long, you might lose some of these 97 overall receivers for a few plays? Yeah, that, the fatigue is definitely an issue so far. I mean, I ran three plays, and I, I think I ran uh, a crossing route on two streaks and he was tired. So I'm definitely, if, if it's early in the game, I'm going to burn the timeouts to make sure my faster players out there and during the second half I'm more careful about what plays I'm running to make sure my players aren't only running around deep routes so they don't get fatigued as much so it definitely goes into your play calling it makes you play the game a little different that, that was brilliant right there just to say in the first half the timeouts aren't as important I'll use them if I need to and in the second half I'm going to change my play calling a little bit to account for that. Spoken like a true professional, and I think that's type of attitudes why you've been one of the most elite players for the last several years. Appreciate it, G. Well, Joke's going to be uh, moving on. We got a lot of new faces here in the tournament. Uh, we got some guys from our uh, Shoutcaster Showdown going to be joining us. Nick's going to be taking my spot for the next game, but I got to find out who you're going to be playing. So let's go over to Rico and find out what's mm -hmm. going on in the rest of the AFC North. <laughs> Thanks.